people don't think globalization is working. I mean, it's this, it, 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 you, you come to a simple proposition that people feel it's, uh, as, as I would say, it, it lacks a human face. Uh, it, it's, uh, it's, it's like a runaway train that's out of, out of control. People feel that they're losing out. And of course, these remarkable changes that are taking place across the world, you know, for 150 years, the West had a majority of production, a majority of investment, a majority of, uh, of all the um, uh, manufacturing and all the trade in the world economy. So uh, populations as small as uh, Europe and, and America in comparison with the rest of the world had a majority of all these things. And suddenly, uh, it's a process that's been happening for, for maybe 30 years, but suddenly you've got this uh, realization that the majority of production, the majority of manufacturing, the majority of trade and the majority of investment is actually outside the West. And, and we have got to come to terms with that. But of course, what it's meant is that the manufacturing industries of the West have been under pressure. Uh, service sector employment has been growing, but it's relatively low paid. Uh, you've got a bigger division between the top and the rest, and this m middle uh, skilled workers, people who were getting relatively good wages in manufacturing, uh, that, that sector has been er eroded. Uh, and of course, people come to blame uh, countries that they say are, are taking their jobs. And uh, of course, that's the, 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 the point that President Trump made in his election campaign, that these jobs are being stolen from America by, by, by someone else. And so the globalization is not just about what you have, it's about who you are and a sense of identity. And people feel that their identity is under pressure, the country's not what it used to be, it's changed out of all recognition. So you can start to explain populism that has led to nationalism, that has led to protectionism, which has led, of course, through protectionism to pressures on growth and, and may also be pressures on the fiscal policy because of vested interests who are complaining about we need subsidies for this and that. So you can start to understand, I think, through the process in which the world has changed over these last uh, uh, few years in, in such a way that uh, the center of gravity of the world economy is shifting eastwards. Uh, I think you can start to explain a lot of the populism that we now see. I, th I think it was quite interesting in the discussion this, after this afternoon. Uh, there is a very strong resistance always in the neoclassical um, economist to any idea that uh, low growth um, in the G7 countries is a product of fast growth in, in China. But, but that is the reality. And so there's been this uh, view uh, that everyone benefits uh, from globalization. Uh, it's, it's not even clear to me that con all countries benefit, but certainly all communities don't benefit. And of course, uh, what you've seen is whole, whole communities uh, who've been wiped out uh, in G7 countries by competition from, from abroad. And I don't think we've been uh, nearly alert enough to that uh, in terms of regional policy or trying to get clusters into these areas. And, and this is true both of, you can see it in the supporters of Trump. Now, these come from places which have really been devastated uh, uh, industrially, and the same is true uh, in a lot of northern communities in the UK. And we just haven't spent uh, uh, enough energy uh, in looking what you can do uh, to put new industries, uh, new high growth industries into those areas. And of course, it, there comes a point when people say, no, no, we want back sovereignty. We don't want to be uh, at the mercy of uh, economic forces we can't control. So um, I think this is something that, that um, has been a big problem. And we've got to find a way that um, uh, we can support those communities where they do lose out on, on competitive grounds.